Hello again, a new day, a new idea. You see, there are a lot of laptops on the market today and they have the power button embedded on the keyboard. So let's say, what we can do when the power button is broken, compromised, let's say. As you can see, my Acer have a LAN connection over here. I saw some um, tutorials about Lenovo having an extra switch on the sides. It's not our case. So the single switch we have on Acer is the one resetting the battery behind here. Is this little one over here. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, this is that one. But the point is that if we are trying to push that one. Okay, we are ready to go. I'm pushing it. And look there. The computer went blank. So it's like disconnecting the power supply, the battery and everything. Call it like a kind of emergency shutdown. So what's happening if we push this button again with no power, no power supply over there, just the battery. So nothing happens because this button over here, it's supposed to do a kind of hard reset of the battery. You know, it's like almost disconnecting physically the battery from the main board. So there is no way to open up the computer. Nothing. So there is no way to start the computer from outside. And that's a mess because when you need to open it up and to change all this keyboard, it's like destroying your computer, <laughs> almost destroying it. So let's try to find some I don't know, some ideas to open it up. Of course, there is a physical one on the main board and I'll show you where and how to do it. Okay, so this is the main board, but that needs to open the lid and to take uh, a few technical, let's say, measurements. Over here, you can see this is the keyboard connector. And we have, I think it's 22 pins over here. This is from the keyboard. So all you have to do is to have this two in short, number one and number two, because let's call it this one 22 at the end. And this is number one here in the beginning. I'll put a better photo right now. I don't want to capture the screen but I think you can clearly see about that. It's these two first pins from the keyboard. But in the meantime, I have another idea. So that it's called wake up on LAN. Before anything else, I mean, before your keyboard get broken, you have to do some things over here. So let's open the adapter. The computer should be on LAN. This is a must. So not wirelessly. Okay. Here we have my LAN connector. We have details about our LAN card. We have to write down the MAC address, physical address. Now we should start up the computer and go into the BIOS. To get the BIOS running, it's push power and then quickly go to F2. What we got over here? Wake on LAN. That's the one you see over there. Wake on LAN. So this is what we need. And it's very simple. Just enable it and we are good to go. Exit. Yes. Okay. Exit save changings. Yes, please. And we are good to go. So now the Laptop knows that if have a message from the router to wake up, it will be up. That's the magic message, how they call it. Now I have a, I have a few possibilities. First of all, I can go into my router. Let's say we are on the same network over here. 
So here I am in my router menu. So we have network tools and look over here, wake online. So now it's very simple. You just push plus add and write the client name, your Mac address, MAC address you saved before and write it down. And then you're going to have all the information over there and the router will remember that. So I'm going to shut down my laptop for good. You see down there, shutting down. Okay. It's down. It's shut off. And we have the LAN connection over here. Remember, this uh, wake up on LAN is not working wirelessly. So it has to be a LAN hard connecting. So I just uh, open the web browser page. I have my credentials for getting into my router here. Sign in. And there we are. So we are in the router. We go to network tools and here we have wake on LAN. Now the MAC address, it's already in the router. It's saved over there. All we have to do is push wake up. So like I said before, it's, it's necessary that the laptop or the PC should be wired with a LAN connector physically wired to the network, not wirelessly. And the caller, let's call it caller, a mobile or another laptop or another PC, the wake up caller should be on the same network like the calling one. We just push wake up and I can already hear the fans running. Do we have any lights? Yes, of course. Look there, we have the both blue lights over there. That means the laptop it's on. The point is that the screen is still blank. Maybe that's the way it's working. So it doesn't open up the screen. But if we push now any key, so the wake up LAN, it's working. I, uh, I really advise you to have this function in BIOS before anything wrong happening with your keyboard. The wake up on LAN, and the same network is very simple. Let's say we have the router here and we have the PC or laptop connected physically. Okay. Of course, this is wireless. Now I have my phone connected mobile, let's say. So I have my phone connected wirelessly to the same router, okay, or the same network. In here, we have a menu for wake up on LAN. Write the MAC address of the laptop or the computer or the PC you want to wake up. And from mobile, access the web page of the router, introduce all these numbers and just send the magic pack. It's called magic all right if you want to do this by the internet well that will be a problem because accessing directly the ip on your modem router and so on it's not secure but if your router is capable of having a vpn function and here also then you can then securely connect your router and open up your laptop or your PC from any other place in the world. And also another good idea is to have on your PC any kind of desktop share file view or uh, there are a lot of softwares like this, you know, especially for uh, sharing and seeing the laptop or uh, doing any kind of other stuffs on your PC or your laptop by the LAN. But remember, a laptop on the battery, it's never wake up. So it needs to be plugged on all the time. So that's it for now, people. I hope uh, it's useful. You know, that, that's a kind of emergency 
waking up or emergency starting on a laptop or a PC with a broken power button. Don't forget to have your BIOS wake up on LAN enabled. See you soon with some other projects. Bye bye.